Today we have 2008 Mercedes-Benz CL500. Customers complaining about there's no sound coming from the radio. And you can't select any of the stations at all. Even though you go on the radio and you go on the station list, select anything. As you can see, nothing's happening. Uh, telematics are not working either. Phone does not work either. And uh, I did scan it. It does have a fiber optic fault, but I'm trying to stay low tech so uh, people who own Mercedes they can they can diagnose or repair themselves instead of taking it to a shop and uh, or instead of taking it to a dealership and paying a lot of money. But uh, here's what I found out. We'll show you guys. So in the trunk vehicle this vehicle comes with different options so without knowing uh, correct information we won't know what's uh, in the fiber optic we call it a uh, fiber optic ring we don't know how many modules this car has so the easy way to find out what your car is equipped with you go in the trunk so in the trunk area look for these orange fiber optic cables make sure you do not kink them they're not regular wires if you're gonna kink them you're gonna break material inside and light will not be able to reflect to module to module so you want to make sure you don't uh, kink them or you don't uh, you don't uh, yeah you don't kink them or you don't uh, twist them or bend them more than 90 degrees even 90 degrees way too much for it so this is okay but anything more than that you're gonna damage it so in any case, so you just follow these wires, these fiber optic wires, and that'll lead you to how many modules you have. You have a tuner, you have a voice control, and then you have a satellite radio. And then it goes back to the main screen over there. So what do you do? How do you know which module is bad? You pretty much disconnect one at a time, turn the key on and off, and see if the radio is back or not so I know what's wrong with the car I just want to make a quick video um, it does have a bad satellite module uh, as you saw earlier that radio was not working as soon as I take this out this fiber optic uh, connector and I put my jumper there's a jumper that you can buy it'll bypass this module once I bypass it radio is gonna start working again so I turn the key off, I disconnected this connector from the uh, satellite radio module. So you're gonna take this connector off. What you do is like pull up on this tab. I don't know if my camera's picking that up or not. I'll try my best to show you guys. So this is a little tab right there. Uh, let's see. This tab right there. You can pull up on it and pull this connector out just like that. So what happens is light goes, there's arrows right there. So light goes in from other module and goes into the satellite radio module. And then that module is supposed to transfer light over or send the light over to next module in the ring. Unfortunately, that module is not sending the light to the next module and uh, under false uh, system is saying that is an open optic ring so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this jumper like so so this completes the ring right there so this acts as a it's a loop so it's gonna transfer ring over it's gonna tra transfer the light over to the to the next module and we should be able to hear our radio working so let's go in the front and see if our radio works okay so here we go we're gonna test our radio so as you can see I can switch channels and I got the sound back 